guys welcome back to my channel so today i'm bringing you a video from rpg hair not rpg show rpghair.com um and i'm gonna be reviewing their kinky straight hair so of course i wanted to kind of bring you a look i didn't just want to go over the details of the hair so this is the hair straight out of the like packaging right i didn't tweeze the parting i have not plucked the knot i haven't bleached the knot i haven't tweezed the um front part what am i trying to say I have not done anything to this wig outside of my normal, you know, let me put on a wig cap and then of course just get my little baby hairs together. But other than that, that's it. I have not gone through and tweezed this out to kind of thin out the hairline. I want it, um, to kind of start showing you guys how these wigs come as is. Now, of course, I customize almost every single one of the wigs that I get. Um, but I don't know if that's really realistic for what you guys are going to be doing. I don't know. But anyway, I'm going to show you this start to finish. How I'm going to get this SCA. Is that a scissor? I still don't know how to pronounce her name. Anyway, it's just going to be an inspired look through her. Um, just kind of like some soft curls. And of course, I'm going to actually layer this up this time. Not too, too crazy, but just a little something something. <laughs> but um, yeah, if you would like to see how I get that look, uh, definitely keep watching. All right, y'all. So I'm starting off with the hair. This hair is kinky straight, of course. It's like an Indian texture. So it's Indian kinky straight. Of course, I don't know any Indians that have kinky straight hair, but whatever. They definitely process this hair to get this texture. It's extremely soft, and the density is 130, so um, that's a really, really good density. To me, it's not too, too crazy because kinky straight or kinky curly hair, period, is already really, really thick. So um, as you can see, this is just one side of it. And this is like really thick and full. It is a 20 inch, so it does come all the way down here. Um, and of course, I'm not going to cut or anything. I'm just literally going to trim the bang area. So I'm going to start doing that now, just so that by the time I'm ready to curl it, we'll be ready to go. I'm going to be curling this with my uh, one and a half inch Con Air curling iron. And let me actually cut this on. I have hair in it. What's going on? Starting from here, the parting on this actually is not too good to be honest only because i mean it is a glueless cap but the parting here stops here so of course you can get a solid middle middle part um but as far as like side parts or anything like that as you can see the side part is very very short so you get some parting space but it doesn't go too far back which i kind of don't like um, because I planned on doing a side part with this, but no worries. I'll find a way to just kind of, you know, toss the hair over so you'll see that. But anyway, starting from the middle, I'm just doing this middle part only to be able to cut this evenly. So, all right, so there's that part. I'm going to take the hair from each side. So right before, like right behind my ear. So from here to here. Yeah, and so this is all the hair that I'm going to be um, layering up. Nothing in the back just strictly the front so so far this is what i'm working with i'm actually going to split this in half also so now i have this and i have this now technically what i can literally do because the hair is over directed i could literally just cut here and then that's it so that's actually what i'm going to do so when i say over directed that means if the hair is split in the middle now the hair is stretched this way now this hair is stretched this way, which means when I cut it, because it's being stretched all the way over, it's naturally going to fall layered. So you'll see that. So I'll determine how long I want these layers. But right now what I'm doing is bringing all the hair to the front. And I'm going to start long because I don't want to cut this too crazy. So right at about my chin is where I want these layers to be. So coming out, you see that angle right here. So let me show you. Here's my chin. Where my hand is is exactly where that chin, where my chin is. All right, hand, chin, stretch the hair out. Okay, so right here. So what I'm gonna do is take this in the front, turn the hair, so I'm literally just turning my hand, taking this in the same spot and twisting it over. So you wanna make sure it's tight though. So. Here we are. This is where my chin was. I'm actually going to take it a little bit longer just in case this doesn't come out completely perfect. Here, twist your hand over, take that, twist it over, and literally cut across. That's literally what I'm going to be doing. So. when 
gonna take this out. It's naturally laid. Now I'm just gonna follow this same layering all the way down. So as you can see, like here, it's diagonal already. That was what I was going for. So anyway. And I'm literally just taking this down, following that same kind of layered look. So there we go. The same thing on this side. Just following that diagonal all the way down. And then I'm bringing all the hair to the front, of course. So when I curl this, this is going to be extremely like, it's going to have body and all that. Just because, do you see how layered this is already? And that's ideal because what I'll eventually be doing is curling it this way. So uh, SZA or SCA, whatever, she typically wears her hair kind of just like over, messy, not really too calculated. So now the hair is pretty much like I like it. I'm going to also, let me see, I'm splitting this hair down the middle. I know my hair is really dark, so it's very hard to kind of see exactly what I'm doing. But yeah, so I followed that diagonal all the way down, and then I should be good. I don't think I'm going to do anything extra outside of just kind of the same thing on this side. Just following that diagonal all the way down. So now I'm ready to curl. I'm just going to start curling the hair. I'm not going to straighten it out or anything crazy. Literally, we going in just like this. So I'm going to separate the hair. Of course, we have these little top pieces here. All right, so I'm taking about this much hair. I was going to do like a long curl with it, but I think I'm actually going to do like a full barrel curl just so that it can be kind of like textured, right? So a textured body wave curl. And as you can see, this does have that kind of like kinky look. I'm not even sure if you can tell. Like, but basically imagine some African American hair blown out. That's what this looks like.
throw some nice like curls in it. I originally was thinking that I was going for like this SCA scissor. Y'all tell me how to freaking say her name because I really don't know. Like I've never heard anybody say it and everybody that I hear say it, they say it the exact same way that I just said it. So I don't know what's wrong with the world. But anyway, I'm really, really loving this hair. This unit looks freaking amazing. Now it did not get super straight or anything like that because I didn't intend for it to do that. I literally just took that one and a half inch curling iron and went through the hair, did some really loose curls as you can see, and the layers definitely helped. So it provided a lot of body and also just, I don't know, it kind of gave it some oomph. So um, I really like it. Now the only thing that I will say that is kind of irritating with this wig is definitely going to be the parting, of course. Now as you can see, this is as far back as the parting space goes on the, um, I guess this is like an off-center part. So I guess, you know, side part. But to me, a side part is truly like right about here. So I don't even want to attempt to part there because it literally only goes here. So what I did was just took a little bit of concealer as usual whenever I'm feeling lazy and I don't really want to, um, I don't want to bleach the knots on my wig. So I'll go ahead and take some concealer and literally go around the hairline. So obviously I didn't do it here. That's why it's not lighter there. But here you see it's lighter. And so that literally blurs out the very like knots of the beginning of the lace so anyway that's my little trick and then of course I went into my parting area just to kind of brighten that up although I really didn't need to because I do have a new cap up under this but um yeah that's pretty much the only thing that I didn't like about the unit but other than that the density is a freaking amazing like this is cute this is really reminding me of like somebody that maybe, I don't know, I'm not necessarily going to say my texture because my texture is a little crazy. So I guess if you're like a natural girl and you were to blow your hair out and maybe do some little random curls the same way I did or even take some flexi rods, pull them apart and literally comb through the curls, this is what your hair would look like. So obviously if it's shorter, it's not going to look like this, but if it's longer then this is kind of what we're looking at. But I like it, it's really, really cute. I don't know, I haven't done a look like this in a very long time. I remember working with, um, I believe it was Mercy's Hair Company, um, their kinky straight hair, and that was, <laughs> that was the love of my life. So yeah, I really like this. So I think I'll be reviewing a lot more. All right, babes, and also I have a quick little surprise. So there is gonna be a giveaway for some kinky straight hair. Um, I'm gonna be giving away three bundles and also a closure, a 20, 20, 18, and a 18 inch closure also. So you can kind of do what you want as you please. Really simple giveaway. All that you have to do is be subscribed to my channel, follow me on Instagram, make sure that you turn on your post notifications on uh, YouTube. I will be double checking. Leave a comment down below saying enter me and that's literally it. So this giveaway will go on for two weeks. Two weeks from today's date, um, or whatever it is that I get this video posted. <laughs> and then of course the winners will be announced here on my channel the same way. It will just be a video, kinky shade bundle winners go to blah 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 and it's gonna actually be one winner this time I'm saying one yeah but it's two anyway so one winner this time and keep posting seriously keep posting because I'm gonna be doing about three to four more giveaways from this time all the way up to Christmas so I hope you guys are as excited about it as I am and I think that's pretty much it I'm trying to think is there anything else it's open to everybody if you want some hair take it I'm not looking to give hair to elementary school students but um yeah I mean I think I was like 16 when I wore my first weave so 16 and up that's what it is if you are 16 years or older you can enter into this giveaway like I said comment down below make sure you are subscribed make sure that you turn on your post notifications and follow me on Instagram that's it that's all you have to do. Anyway, I love you guys so much. Stay pretty. I will have another video following up on this RPG hair where I think I'm just going to straighten it out to see how straight this kinky straight can get. Um, but other than that, I love you. I will see you next time. Goodbye. <laughs> I guess when I said SCA inspired or scissor inspired, I guess I just meant curls because this don't really look like nothing she wear. But I guess. I guess. <laughs> I don't date honey, cookie on tsunami. Hey. <laughs> this is cute. I like it. Now that I am sober, I take back what I said.